Hello, hello, hello. We have come to the end of our fast. See how far you brought me. Lord, I've come to worship you. See how far you brought me. Lord, I've come to worship you. See how far you've brought us. Lord, we've come to worship you. Wow. Guys, this is the final day. I just have to say, like last night, I had to like buy juice because now after six, I was feeling like I literally no longer have any sugar in my body. Like <laughs> there was nothing left in me. There was nothing. Ah, Welcome to this light, last Instagram live. I'm really, really excited to have you here for the last time. Hey, we've come this far by grace. We've come this far by grace the dehydration like literally i could feel my throat that it was now patched every time during those lives i would feel that yo my throat is losing it but i'm glad we've made it this far so today i just wanted to share a little bit of the warfare that i went through during this far so that you guys may also be able to understand the intensity of what we did what we did basically was getting into the enemy's camp like we not only provoked the devil but we got into his camp and then we started tearing down you know things strongholds soul ties bitterness unforgiveness uh you know what the the repeated cycles like we basically have gone through everything we took back our wombs we took back our finances we took back literally everything and the devil obviously can't be happy about that. And I'm really excited that we managed to make it up to the finishing line. I'm really, really proud of you. I'm glad. So firstly, Monday was okay. I got up, I lay prayer. You know, it was good, good, good. And then on Tuesday after work, I got home. And my mom, she was basically wearing a whole wardrobe, guys. Like she wore her whole wardrobe. And she even wore this like many hats many woolen hats and she was in a bed literally what you call that i don't know what you call it in english but like like she was literally feeling so cold she could not speak she could not even do anything mom was sick like really really sick like bedridden sick you could see that she was sweating but also at the same time she was wearing too many coats too many and then she was inside of two in one blankets like oh it's cold shivering thank you <laughs> thank you tonight so yeah my mom was shivering it was bad it was really really bad and then now when it was night time the time that we're now supposed to be having 9 p.m prayer then I now heard them making this prayer saying, uh, You know, like now it's funny, but back then it was not funny. <laughs> it wasn't funny. You know those uh, prayers that people make when they're about to die? Those are the prayers that my mom was now making. And I said, Lord, you know how much I love this woman, but please do not let illness be a distraction to me. Because the moment now I was thinking, how do I take care of her? How am I going to balance this like prayer and her not being well and things like that? We moved from that the following morning while I'm still trying to figure out like, how am I going to be able to be there for my mom? But also truly uh, be present in the fast because in this fast, I was the only one. I understand that this is the first year of uh, Princess to my daddy, like really being active. So I have to show you guys an example first before I can just give you and 
um like give you the opportunity to do everything you first have to see how i do it so that you guys may be able to see the blueprint right so i was like i'm supposed to lead this fast alone and so i actually got that said lead this one fast alone like in november you can have a lot of people coming who are already in the ministry to now lead but this first one i had to lead on my own right and i'm like god how am i gonna manage this the following morning my workmate also calls me and says he's not feeling well like he had no voice he could not speak he was just ill as well so that's not my workmate now i'm trying to figure out i've got to bed work but my mom is bedridden sick how am i gonna navigate this while i'm still trying to figure it out my nieces come they're like and you're actually needed at school right now for a consultation you can imagine it's their first consultation the informal one like i'm supposed to be there for them you understand i'm supposed to show up for them i'm supposed to show up slaying i'm supposed to show up as the rich auntie you know what it is like i i know you guys would would have loved when we're going to school that whoever comes to consults you know knows what they're doing they're looking good and all that so it was like three in one I had to go to the hospital with my mom. I had to go for the consultation and be there at work at the same time. So there were clients that actually called asking me, where are you? And it's like, I got there at maybe five minutes past one and the client had gotten there at around maybe three minutes past one, like two minutes before me. And they could have easily called my boss like, we do not see consolata neither do we see a her workmate so where are these people and that would have gone out of control but the lord literally sustained me as if that was not enough my phone switched off during one 9 p.m prayer i'd say the prayer points thankfully and then it just switched off the following morning i woke up it had not charged the phone was like at 14 percent overnight it had not charged my phone was refusing to hold battery to you know do the thing we got onto the life now my phone was just connected to the charger now my charger also died like the the mouthpiece of the charger literally broke i i can't understand i can't explain how it broke but it just broke the charger broke now i had to ask my workmates may i please have uh, like your charger just so that i may charge for a little bit so it's the one that i was using like doing these lives the charger was literally connected <laughs> to my phone and it was like on five percent the other day twenty percent the other day just to make sure then finally i had to get another charger it still didn't work and then when it did work a little which was now yesterday in the morning, it got to like 20%. When it was at 20%, I was supposed to lead 5 a.m. prayer. So around, um, let's just say 10 past, I could see that literally every second, the 20% was now at like 3% by 10 past. Now I texted Abby, I'm like, Abby, my phone is really losing um, battery at a very, past, a very fast rate. So... If I just zone out, please continue with the prayer because I mean, there's nothing I can do. The phone switched off. Yeah. And each time I had to resurrect and pray and plead the blood of Jesus and say, in the name of Jesus, you phone rise up and work for this ministry so that we can get our kingdom marriages. But that's just also the tip of everything that I went through, like balancing hospital, a phone that's not working being there for my nieces being there at work being there for all the prayer calls it was certainly not easy but the reason why i shared this is just to say like god is faithful we can go through storms we'll go through stuff but god is always faithful and this gave me a very valid reason to be able to glorify him and to thank him just for this fast and what he has done during this fast for us imagine that despite everything that was going on i managed to literally come up to research to study about 1500 prayer points like each day we're doing about 100 to 120 prayer points if you really take Take a look at it there were about hundreds to 120 prayer points every single day i would uh, type those prayer points uh, research type 
and then also <laughs> print them and i remember the other day the bond paper all of a sudden i i thought there was bond paper and all of a sudden there was no bond paper remember i don't have an iphone remember i don't have an ipad or like an extra gadget from which i can simply like scroll through so i had to have them in printed form that was the only way it was efficient for me i'm like now there's no bond paper guys i don't know for me this was like the true test of to whom much is given much is required but i really thank god for enabling me for his spirit that literally despite everything that i was going through we still felt the spirit of god in this place we still felt god do an amazing work through us we really felt the deliverance how god visited us in dreams a lot of people were texting me saying that they're literally dreaming you know vomiting food that they ate they were dreaming of the lord giving them direction about their life they were dreaming about areas that the lord was redeeming them from they were seeing visions about the partners that god intended for them some have already met their partners as we're speaking right now some people who for a long time liked someone right but that person never asked them out has now asked them out even now someone was asked out on the very first day of the fast people like someone that i know <laughs> actually met their lover two days ago and there was just confirmation on the spot you understand what i'm saying so we will go through tough times but god is on our side and today we just want to give things i know someone's mom had a road accident unfortunately she's not on the call but her mom had a road accident my mom was bedridden my even my niece my niece also was sick that's the other thing my niece also fell ill and she was vomiting throughout the night like for like two consecutive days imagine oh drink this fast ah my god but we thank god hey so we just want to get into a time of thanksgiving to just really thank god for everything how he has kept us not only during this fast but just for being faithful <laughs> for being faithful to us that when our backs were against the wall ah when it looked like it was over he was really there for us he covered us and now our families are alive they are thriving everything is back to normal but yes we had to go through what we had to go through so i'm really thankful for that but before we get into thanksgiving i want you guys to not that after a fast we should never ever relax i understand we are, we all want to eat like we're ready to eat even i'm ready to feast because there's nothing in my body at this point i'm just truly bones there's no flesh on this body but one thing is for sure the devil will come for you as soon as you leave a time of intense prayer and fasting the same way that it did with jesus after 40 days he said to Jesus, bow down to me and I will give you, you know, this land, this nation, you will rule over it. But there is a time where we have to understand that we are children of God. We are prepared. Everything that we've been praying for, we stand firm on the word of God. Amen. Just like Jesus who said, you know, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. We should never ever relax, but continuously use the word of God as a counterfeit to counter everything that the devil tries to throw our way. We continue to speak the blood of Jesus over ourselves, over our families, over everything that we do in Jesus name. We continue to declare that everything bows down to the name of Jesus because after a fast, do you know you can literally get in the way of your miracle if you're not careful where you suddenly become moody now you can't control your emotions you forget that we prayed for the fruits of the holy spirit and that god should guide us and lead us and you leave everything that we have learned everything we've studied everything we've prayed for during this fast and now you leave it and now you begin to live a totally separate life and you expect god to fulfill the promise that he has given to you it doesn't work like that it doesn't work like that right so it's important that you ensure that you continue to pray remain in the word of god remain rooted in god's word 
remain rooted in God's word. Continue to pray, continue to praise, continue to worship. That's the only way that we can secure the prophetic word. We can secure the prayers that we've been making. Continue to sow, continue to seed toward everything that we prayed for. Continue to walk in your purpose. As you walk in your purpose, God will align you for what he has in store for you. Amen. So, Continue to pray, fast, study the word, serve, serve, and serve. Serve like you have never served before. This should be the time when people say, oh, we, we have never seen Gamu, we have never seen Thelma, we have never seen um, Abi serving like this. Just because you know what you're fighting against. The devil will be out to take you, but we continue to fortify your family. We fortify your job. We fortify your relationship in the name of Jesus. Amen. So let's be vigilant. Let's not be ignorant of the devil's devices. When he sees that he can't attack you, he will try to attack your family. The same way that he did to me, particularly in this fast. But I thank God that God is on my side. I continued to declare the word of God. I remember that night I laid hands on my mother. Do you know as a pastor, like you can pastor to everyone else, but it's just difficult to pastor to your family. I don't know how that is. Because these guys basically show you in your nappies and all of a sudden you want to prophesy to them. They're like, what are you talking about? You know, that kind of thing. But I laid hands on my mother and declared the word of God over her that she is healed, that by his stripes she has already been healed. And she was saying, I feel like there are wounds on the inside of me that are literally attracting the colds. And I said, Lord, as surely as you live, as surely as you are my God, as surely as you are Jehovah, our healer, I declare in the name of Jesus, the healing of my mother in Jesus' name. I continue to declare. And I said, God, you have got, I know that you are backing me up on this fast because I didn't do it according to what I thought I wanted, but because you are intentional about the way we should do things. And I consecrated her before God. And now she's, well, she's, you know, doing the thing, living a best life. But that's what we need to do. Continuously fortify everything that we can literally remember. Our forks, our spoons, our pins, everything. Just like we were doing during the fast. To fortify everything with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So let's get into a time of Thanksgiving. Please do type in the comment section. Uh, yes, type what you are thanking God for, for what God has been doing, for what God has done in the past, what he did during this past and that he continues to take us forward. So let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for leading us, for guiding us. Thank you for protecting us during this fast, oh God. Thank you that even when our backs were against the wall, Father, you, you made the way. Hey, when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over, you made a way. Hey, and we're standing here only because you made, you move mountains, you cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made a way. Thank you, Lord, that indeed a million tons could never be enough to thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you, Father, for the kingdom marriages that you've placed in our hands. Thank you, Father. We are grateful, Baba, for keeping us, for giving us the discipline, the self-control to not eat when we felt like eating. <laughs> Thank you, Father, for giving us that self-control. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing uh, period pain in the name of Jesus. Thank you for Apostle Consolata. Thank you, Father, for strengthening her to keep pushing in Jesus' name. Thank you for a bright future. Thank you for giving us the strength to soldier on. Thank you for being faithful, oh God. Thank you for Pastor C, my Lord, Dian Aizo, Tira, this initiative. T 
Tino Tendamari. Thank you for moving mountains on our behalf. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for strengthening us during this fast. Tino Tender Jehovah. Thank you, Lord, for helping to let go of material things that we have been holding on from our exes. Thank you for self-control. Thank you for breaking the soul ties. Thank you for breaking evil patterns. Thank you for setting us up for success. Thank you for giving us kingdom marriages. Thank you, Father, for the times that you kept us when we thought when we contemplated giving up. Thank you, Father, that you have been with us. You've kept us. You've brought us this far by your grace, by your mercy. We are so thankful, Father that you have been with us lord we're grateful we're grateful for this uh partnership we're grateful for this community where we can pray together thank you father for the answered prayers thank you that you're already at work oh god we are grateful thank you father that we're seeing the tangibility of the testimonies of us already meeting our spouses before the end of this week thank you for blessings mighty blessings marvelous testimonies thank you for mercy Thank you for, for preserving us and our families. Thank you for healing to our parents. Thank you for preservation from road accidents. Thank you for every princess that has come this far. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Father, for sustaining us, for keeping us despite going to work to and from daily. You've kept us on our coming in and on our going out. Thank you, Father, that you've broken every pattern, every cycle, everything that the enemy had set for for our downfall but father you have redeemed us thank you for sending our destiny help us thank you for an opportunity to get closer to you thank you for the testimonies thank you for smooth pregnancies for restoration of our wombs for restoration of our bodies for restoring our glory thank you for our kingdom spouses thank you for increasing us we thank you father for making us partakers of your inheritance thank you for fruitfulness in our families in the name of jesus thank you for delivering us oh god for activation of the gifts of the spirit thank you that we were able to dream dreams to see visions to prophesy even during this time thank you father that we are 12 on this life today in the name of jesus thank you for a great connection with our spouses thank you for giving us the strength to endure despite the network challenges that we faced in the name of jesus thank you for giving us a community of like-minded women in the name of jesus thank you for the revelation thank you for the outpouring of the spirit on this fast in the name of jesus thank you for keeping us thank you that you've brought us this far oh god it can only be through jesus thank you father that's those soul ties baba you broke them thank you for breaking them baba thank you for setting us up for new marriages new relationships that are blessed by you thank you for blessing us with leadership positions in the marketplace thank you father that together with our spouses indeed you have set us up for greatness to be able to do ministry to evangelize to bring five billion souls to the kingdom as we partner together and partner with you in the name of jesus thank you for this ministry thank you for healing oh lord thank you for a ministry where we are led by you where we study your word where we pray we fast we seek intimacy with you where we constantly seek to be renewed that you remove everything you removed everything that is not of you on the inside of us you removed jealousy envy you removed uh, mud slinging in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this fast that was instructed from you. Thank you for setting us free. Thank you for prophecies spoken. Thank you for the opportunity to partner in the kingdom. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We glorify your name, Father. Thank you, Father, for just allowing us to see another day to breathe. We don't deserve it, not because of our works, but because of your grace, because of your mercy. Thank you for endowing us with the fruits of of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for giving us the feminism revelation that we never have to be feminist, but we are women that are submitted to our husbands who are also submitted to you. Thank you, Father, for giving us husbands after your own heart. Thank you for divine health in our, in our marriages, in our families. Thank you, Father, for all that you're doing through us, in us, and around us. In the name of Jesus, oh, we glorify your name, Father. Thank you for opening doors that we never expected 
expected oh god indeed we never expected it ah <laughs> we never expected it but lord you surpassed our expectations oh god thank you for surpassing our expectations our thoughts our feelings our opinions you put our side and you allowed your you allowed us to open our hearts to be molded by you thank you for breaking us for melting us for molding us for building us up oh god as women of most holy faith in the mighty name of jesus thank you father thank you for showing up and showing off oh god thank you for the testimonies that have already begun to stream in and that are continuing to stream in in the name of jesus thank you father for restoring us in your name thank you father for reminding us of who we are in you that we are indeed the apple the money the pupil of your eye in jesus name father we thank you for expanding our capacity for making us vessels that hold rain for making us our uh, wine skins that hold wine thank you father that there are no holes in our wine skins as a result of this fast in the name of jesus father we're just grateful to be called your children we're just grateful grateful to be partakers of the glory of God. Thank you that we are partakers of being co-heirs with Jesus Christ and we're seated in heavenly places in him and we operate from a place of authority as such. Thank you for setting us free from uh, the addiction to pornography, the addiction to masturbation and all forms of addiction in the name of Jesus. Thank you for rebuilding our character and making us more and more like you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Ah, Adonai, we thank you. Adonai, we glorify you. Thank you, Father, for who you are. You Thank you for loving us so immensely that you found us worthy, that in this time in this season we be a part of such a movement we be a part of such a move of god thank you for choosing us just by being on this fast choosing us to be part of the revival that you're getting ready to release in the earth in the name of jesus father we're honored just to be your children we're honored just to know you just to commune with you just to pray for israel what an honor it is to pray even for the nation after your own heart an honor to pray for our leaders thank you father for honoring us for giving us that time in the mighty name of jesus thank you for setting us all free from bondage thank you father that we're literally walking us in the greatness of everything that you've called us to be thank you father for the food that we are about to eat <laughs> Father, see your children, these food lovers. Father, we pray and we bless that food in the name of Jesus. May not make us uh, sick in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for making us sons and not slaves. Thank you for making us a part of the revival. Thank you, Father, even for an opportunity to meet tonight, to pray uh, and to just fellowship together through the Bible study. We are honored to know you. We are honored to be princesses to such an amazing father. Thank you for having us under your wing. Thank you that we are part of this ministry. Thank you. Oh, oh, we love this for you so much. She says, thank you, Lord, for the gift of tongues that you bestowed upon me during this fast. In the name of Jesus, I can't wait to hear that testimony in person in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for who you are. That despite not being in the same room father you still imparted your spirit as a result of this fast in the name of jesus we thank god for what god is doing in your life Thelma. side note i've literally seen this girl grow i've seen tinaya grow i've seen fuzzy grow literally before my eyes and i'm just so grateful particularly for these three individuals i'm grateful for fads. I'm grateful for your growth. I'm grateful, Father, for Tinaya's growth. I'm so grateful even for Tafad's Wathelma's growth. Thank you, Father, that you have raised them, oh God, as women after your own heart, women that are sold out to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for using this ministry as a vessel to take them to the next level. Father, we're just happy. We're overjoyed for what you're doing in their life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for them. Thank you for this three 
I'm so grateful that I get to be a part of those that see their growth in the kingdom in Jesus name. Thank you, Father, that we've come this far by your grace. Thank you, Father, for loving us, even with the pimples on our faces. Thank you, Father, that because of this fast, we are literally going to have amazing weddings. Thank you, Father, that we're going to have amazing, Rora's surprising proposals and that even our nails will be in order. <laughs> Thank you, Father, uh, for protecting us, oh God, even with the transport, oh God. Thank you for raising princesses, princesses after your own heart. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we're grateful. We love you. We thank you and we honor you, oh God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are grateful from the deepest chambers of our hearts. And we come to say thank you, Father. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we are about to break the fast. Hallelujah. Hey, I can no longer see the Holy Communion. <laughs> okay, guys, please be praying. Please be praying. <laughs> Wait now. <laughs> Fadi, Mrs. Chunzo, please make a plan for the Holy Communion. We're in the same house in different rooms. Please bring the Holy Communion. I can't see it. <laughs> yes, we are breaking the fast. Finally, after days of starvation, but growth in the spirit, I really believe and feel that at this point we have become, you know, weighty in the spirit please pray for my food too pastor <laughs> okay okay guys let me pray for your food first before we pray for the holy communion as we wait for fazi to come oh thank you she has brought it so so now i'm starting with the holy communion i will take it on behalf of you all you know what it is you know what it is <laughs> Since finally, since you people, <laughs> ah, I, uh, like you guys are literally hilarious. Like you know, it can be a fast, but you guys just make you make ministry really fun, and I'm really thankful for. Please, I am now putting the. You guys really make ministry fun, like. I genuinely enjoy doing ministry with you guys. It's not as boring as what other ministers go through. You make it worthwhile. It's amazing. So the Bible says that <laughs> to Mrs. Chins almost with speed. Wow. <laughs> so the, the, the word of God says that when Jesus um, and the disciples had at the last supper, he took the bread he broke it he blessed it and thanked god father we thank you for this fast we thank you lord for what you have done on the inside of us thank you for making us weighty in the spirit thank you for deliverance thank you for your love thank you for an outpour of blessings for removing uh the satanic the evil nature in us and replacing with your nature thank you for what you've done on the inside of us that cannot be taken back oh god thank you for moving us in from one level to another and even for granting us kingdom marriages kingdom children kingdom everything kingdom finances kingdom partners kingdom uh, friends kingdom partners kingdom everything we're just grateful for that lord we thank you and we bless your name in jesus name amen the bible also says he took the cup and blessed the lord all this he said to do in remembrance of me to remember that i will come back so we do it in communion amen we do it to remember the death and resurrection of christ that he indeed came back and he will come back again to take us home that we may waltz and dance and praise him face to face amen so the bread represents his body the wine represents his blood so as i take it please take it with me I, I, I believe that you have biscuits or, you know, or water. I don't know what you're using. But let us take it together in Jesus' name. Miss 
the whistle. We need the whistle. <laughs> it's in my handbag. <laughs> we need the whistle to break this fast, guys. Ah, there is no way. That's the last one. That's the last. <laughs> wife is bringing the wife is bringing the whistle. Um, I'm gonna pray for you guys' food, Father. We pray over this food. We just bless it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father for this food we pray that it may bring nourishment to their bodies in jesus name father we pray that it doesn't make them sick as they're transitioning from a season of not eating to a season of eating please bless this food we cover it and sanctify it in the blood of jesus amen yeah the team members are saying yes the whistle very true the whistle she's bringing it you know she's she's swift with these things i don't know what it is what is it called <laughs> so i'm grateful for you guys once again <laughs> abby says flask is refusing to open may it open in the name of jesus hallelujah may the flask open so are you ready are you ready are you ready are you ready? Please, I need to see the fire emojis. I need to see everything. Literally, like, let's just go wild in the comment section as I blow the whistle. Remember, this is the, the, the whistle ministry. This is the whistle ministry. So are you ready? When you're ready, just say ready, 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 ready in the comment section. Ready, 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 ready in the comment section. <laughs> ready in the comment section. Ready in the comment section ready 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 i'm waiting for you all to say ready and then i will blow the whistle and then we'll go wild hey! are you ready yes finally let's do this one last time for the father for the son for the Holy Spirit. Yeah! <laughs> Our fast is finally over, guys. let us enjoy let's have an amazing time in god's presence i don't even know if i should save this live on my youtube because it was just too funny but let's pour the tea ladies according to abby let's pour the tea let's get going let's get moving let's eat but don't overeat so much that tonight you cannot concentrate because we still need the you know that fasted state for the holy spirit to fully manifest tonight so don't Usai, what do you call it in Shona? Usai tenafu. Don't be too greedy. Like, eat enough to sustain you for the day. Amen. I love you so much, guys. So, until you see me, when I see you, lunchbox is open. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> You're eating for four. What are the other three? I will miss these sessions. Don't worry. I'll have more. I actually am hosting a masterclass on on uh, starting next week. So be sure to join that masterclass. I'll actually be doing live sessions as well once a week. I'll send the details in the uh, in the main group. But basically, this is a masterclass to help you walk in your purpose. I will be sharing literally anything that I can. Oh, Habi and your babies is, is the four people. Okay, I see. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.